What's going on everybody? King Tar Heel here, and uh, we are going to continue our crafting guide. Uh, last time we went through blacksmithing, alchemy, dispelling, and lockpicking, and today we'll go through the rest, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, well the first uh, skill I want to talk to you guys about is the detect hidden skill. And as you can see on my minimap, it shows you where enemies are on the minimap, it shows you what direction they're facing, and it also shows you traps uh, in a lot of those dungeons. So it's pretty helpful in that regard. Uh, it's really good to team up with stealth. Uh, and that's kind of why I ignored it for a long time, because I hadn't worked on my stealth build yet. And when I started working on my stealth build, uh, I put points into this. But the real gem of what you get from this is the ability to find treasure. Uh, like right here, you'll find... Uh, loot uh, the hollow log here and we'll pick up blues, we'll pick up purples, you'll pick up greens and there's treasure all over the place. Uh, it's really one of the best ways to make money uh, is just walking around and finding all the treasures you get uh, when you have eight points. Uh, here we have another one into detect hidden. Uh, there's tons, it's not like you just get it every every couple <clears throat> uh, levels or anything like that. There's treasure to be found everywhere. Uh, in this uh, in this game, so detect hidden is probably bolted up to one of my uh, most important and most useful skills uh, because of the ability just to find treasure uh, laying around everywhere. Okay, next up is the uh, mercantile or mercantile um, skill. Uh, this allows you to get more gold uh, when you sell off items, and it also allows you to get a percentage of gold that you when you destroy items. So say you wanted to destroy this armor of shifting instead of wearing it, uh, which would be silly, but we would recover 629 gold uh, from our skill. So that would allow us to gain gold when you destroy items based on how many points you have in the skill. Uh, I don't find this skill to be all that useful at all. Uh, once I got the stash and I got the house and, I'm, and I, I basically went to, from destroying a lot of items to not destroying any items, which is relatively early in the game. Uh, so, and like I said, with the detect... Um, the detect items uh, skill, you gain uh, the ability to find more gold laying around, plus you gain a ton of items going around that you can sell. Uh, with the fast travel button, going back to vendors is is real simple. So if it's a gold, um, a money, monetary thing you're looking for, I would go with the detect hidden skill over the, uh, the mercantile skill. It's just better uh, in my ways. You can find a purple laying in a log or under a pile of rocks somewhere that will sell for 50,000 gold uh, versus the, the the bump you get selling selling off items and stuff like that. That's my personal opinion. Uh, Detect Hidden also has a lot of other benefits that this, that this doesn't have, uh, but this is uh, what this skill does. You gain um, a bonus when selling items and you also gain a percentage of the gold when you destroy an item. Next up is the Persuasion skill. Uh, this is a skill that allows you to gain bonuses when you speak with someone and ask them for favors. You will have a higher percentage of them uh, granting you favor uh, when you ask the question. It also uh, decreases the, the amount of your bribes if you're committing crimes, if you're a, a thief type character and stuff like that. So uh, essentially this is part of the role playing game. Yes, you do get some bonuses asking for help. Uh, you'll have a higher percentage. Uh, but generally, I find this to be one of the weaker um, skills. Um, it's, it can be a role-playing skill if you're playing, you know, that smooth um, smuggler or smooth assassin or something like that, uh, who's good with uh, talking to the ladies and such. Uh, then I could definitely see it. But in terms of a practical use, uh, I just don't see it. Um, there are other better skills available um, to that point. All right. Next up is sage crafting. Uh, to use sage crafting, you'll need a sage craft altar. Uh, you can find one in Gorhart uh, near the church um, in the building to the right as you're walking up the steps and uh, down the hall. When you first get to the uh, sage crafting altar, you'll have three options. Uh, you can craft gems, socket gems, or remove gems. So let's go ahead and craft some gems. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a weapon gem, and here you'll find all the gems. And as you put more points into your sage crafting, you will be able to gather better gems. So the better gems you get, the better, um, or the better materials, excuse me, the better raw materials, you'll be able to combine the shards, uh, they're called, and combine them into gems, and then use those gems in your items. So you can take, say, a fire shard and a lightning shard, and that'll give you 15% chance to steal 20 mana per hit, uh, which is a pretty cool gem. I like it. So we went ahead and created the Gem of Ferocity. Uh, and then you would take that and you would put it into a weapon. So we would take our birch longbow here 
and uh, we would put the gem of ferocity into our birch longbow it turns it from a green to a blue and it adds the 15 percent chance to steal mana per hit so this is an incredibly powerful um profession uh combining this with blacksmithing uh allows you to just make uh incredible weapons and incredible armor and then uh top them off uh with uh, the world-class gem so that's a great combo if you're doing a might class or really any class but especially if you're doing say a might class um, you, you'll be able to build uh, the best armor in the game and then socket it with the best gems it'll be um, a really great combination and the last skill on our list is the stealth skill and obviously this one is pretty pretty self-explanatory uh, this reduces your ability to be seen um, by a certain percentage of distance uh, by NPCs that don't see you and makes it harder for them to see you. So if you're playing a stealth build, uh, obviously stealth is your number one priority. Uh, but other than that, I don't find it all that useful. It doesn't do um, a whole lot unless you're doing a stealth build. So it's one of those things that's very, very situational. Um, but if you're playing a stealth class, it's obviously your number one priority. Well guys, that's it for the crafting video. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you out a little bit. And uh, we finished the crafting in Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning uh, for mid-level characters. Uh, so if you like this video, hit that like button. I should have some more builds coming up uh, as well, including a stealth, bu stealth build. Excuse me. So hit that uh, subscribe button. And uh, that's it guys. Take care and uh, good night.